Wow, isn't it such a lovely day to be playing RimWorld? I've got all this power. It's amazing. I'm never gonna run out. Hmm. Oh my god, I can't believe that just happened. My people are all dead. Too bad I don't have such a thing as a circuit breaker. Hmm. Alright, what's up guys? Sorry for the cringe intro. <laughs> I'm just trying out something new. Uh, today's video is going to be on a mod. It's called RT Fuse, which I found on the Steam Workshop. Workshop. I think it's just one shop. But anyways, this is a mod that kind of, it counteracts uh, the short circuit event, which is just amazing. If you watch some of my more recent videos, you'll know that I hate short circuit events with the freaking passion. How bad are short circuit events? I don't know. They ruin colonies. So this is why I really like this mod. This isn't something that I encourage people to use in the final game. Uh, just because short circuit events add a much needed layer of difficulty that isn't just body swarming you with tribal men or something. But besides that, this is super cool. Pretty much what you have are two new things added to the game. You have a circuit breaker and a makeshift fuse. Both of them, they can be researched at a normal research bench or the high tech one. And what they do is you add them onto your circuit like I've done here. Just, it just continues the circuit. And what it does is a simple fuse handles up to 3,000 watt days of discharge. Will require repairs if tripped. What it does is a circuit break, a uh, short circuit event happens. It dissipates, I don't know, whatever this is, 4,000 watts. And each one of these will take up to 3,000. So pretty much no damage will be done. There'll be no explosives. So for now, I'm just going to show you quickly what it does by doing it artificially. So short circuit. Boom. WD of energy in the connected batteries have been discharged, but any serious damage was prevented by the fuses, which is just so cool, honestly. Kudos to the mod maker, I'll put a link in the description. One of the counter points is that you kind of have to repair each fuse after it's blown, which is how real life works, so that's pretty cool. So my colonist will come and repair it. My colonist will come and repair it now. Goddamn. Oh, we got a mad animal. Let's just, uh, get rid of this turtle quickly. Oops. Fuck. Fuck you. Okay, bye-bye. What they've gone and done is repaired it. Uh, so you can just use it again. So it's pretty much t removed short circuits from the game. Because one of these can hold up to three batteries. Which is just crazy. I've got more than you need here. So what I'm gonna do now is just remove him. And show you the more upgraded version, which is a circuit breaker. You can put these down. They also handle up to 3,000 watts. Uh, which is pretty cool. Let's just fill up the banks quickly. Unlimited power. Fill it up. Undo that. And then we can see what happens when we blow the circuit again. So short circuit event. Boom! Everything got saved. No explosions. You just gotta turn it on and off. You don't have to do that. I just did it for effect. He'll go and flick it. There we go. We are saved. Wait, this is just such a cool mod. I'm so happy that I found it. Um, it's very, very awesome. It's Perfect for beginners, because I think that short circuits are just some of the dumb events of the game. Uh, they shouldn't happen as often as they do. And I think you should ha be allowed to have one or two batteries without having to worry about short circuits ever. But for now you have this and it's pretty cool. As I said though, I don't recommend using this unless you're a really, really big newbie. Or you just really hate short circuit events, because it does take away a layer of difficulty. And that sucks. But anyways guys, hope you enjoyed the video. I'm gonna head out, find some new mods, carry on making videos. Hope you have an amazing day. And I'll see you all tomorrow.